What's up guys, it's a really great morning right now in Puerto Rico. My cousins and I decided to go on a quick mini vacation for the weekend. I'm supposed to do this since my birthday, but the plan didn't follow through, so we're doing it right now. It's currently 9 a.m. I have not even eaten or shower yet, just only brushed my teeth. But before we do all of that, I wanted to actually get a workout in. So I'm gonna sit with you right now and you're gonna go through with me as I create a workout. I'm planning on doing a leg workout. I want it to be um, a little bit more strength based. And also, I wanted my heart rate to accelerate a little bit. So I'll add some, I'll add some explosive exercises in there. You're gonna follow through with me as I decide what exercise I want so you can see my thought process also. When I'm writing my workouts, let's go through this. That crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest And it's okay to do your thing but just don't do the most I put my friends in that old Benz and took that to the coast So guys, when I'm writing my workout routine It's several things I think about first before starting the workout First, I decide in my mind What do I want to work on? What's the purpose of the workout? What do I want from that workout? Since I'm not at home, I usually add some weights. When I'm doing leg workouts, I've been adding weights for the past few years, for like a year now, since after COVID, a little bit of last year, when it was starting to slow down. Yeah, so I think about the purpose of the exercise, and I actually picture the anatomy of what I'm working on just generally, since I'm working legs, I know that I'll, I'm looking to work my quads, my hamstrings, a little bit of glutes. I'm not really focusing on like the exact muscles such as the rectus femoris and all those muscles. I just usually think of the general uh, muscle itself. I'm looking for strength exercises. So with strength exercises, since you're doing body weight with no weight, there's a few things that you can do to actually make the exercise harder. Increase the tension of the exercise, which is you can make it slower, or you can work the muscles individually so you can isolate your squats. I usually add some pistol squat or, okay, let's, let's start writing. So I know exactly that I want to make it strength based and some explosiveness. So let's focus on on hamstrings right now. Okay, so for hamstrings, we got, I'm thinking of, you know, squats. Now, how can I make the squat challenging for me? Um, so I'll probably do three sets. So I'll probably do three sets with the first. I like to superset my workouts also, guys. That way I actually get to work um, several muscle groups within one set and it helps it, especially when you have a short workout. I don't like to just sit there and do 50 squats or 40 squats in a row. I feel like it's boring to me. So I like to superset my workout. All right, I'm gonna do 12 regular squats. I'm gonna superset that with a hamstring exercise so I can do some sort of Romanian deadlift, but to make it harder, I'm gonna switch it to, uh, I'm gonna isolate it. I'm gonna do the single leg Romanian deadlift. Gonna do that. I'll probably do, um, I'll do 10 sets. Now guys, if I was doing these weighted, I would have done weighted, which is um, more of a, Focus on strength based type of thing. I would have probably do six to eight reps, but those are a bit easier for me and those exercises don't have body weight. So that's why I'm doing 10 or 12. I don't usually do more than 12 sets unless I'm doing a burnout. That's the only time I do more than 12 sets. 
12 reps, sorry, 12 reps. Okay, so I'll do 10 single leg Romanian deadlift. And I'm gonna add one more. Or I'm gonna make this something explosive. So I'll probably, I can either do broad jumps or do an explosive like lateral lunges. Or, ah, I'm gonna do explosive split jump lunges. So I'll do, I'll go for 10 reps. Yeah, it usually burns at 10 reps and it really like accelerates my heart like crazy. It's a pretty good strength exercise also. I'm only gonna do two supersets. So my second one, I'll do three sets as well. I wanted to focus more on hamstrings and glutes primarily, even some quads also. So I'll probably do, depending on how my leg is feeling, then I'll do some pistol squat. Hopefully my leg is not eh, kind of a little bit sore. I don't know, pistol squat, so I'll probably do six, six pistol squats. Add that to, so what I'm thinking is a squat into like a, a lateral type of slide. I'll show you when I'm doing it. So I'll probably do six on each side. Yeah, I'll do six on each side. I'm not sure of the intense of the exercise yet because I, I, I just came up with that in my mind. So I'll do six squat into lateral squat to lateral slide. I don't know. Yeah, it happens like that sometimes. And lastly, I want to do a glute exercise. Um, you can do hip thrust. Those are really good for glutes as well as um, Romanian deadlifts also. Uh, so since I've done Romanian deadlifts, I'm going to add some probably single leg hip thrust. Yeah, I'll do some single leg hip thrust just to increase the intensity of it. Also, I'm going to elevate it. Uh, so it's going to be 10 reps. All right, so we got pistol squats, laterals, squat to lateral slide and 10 single leg elevated hip thrust. All right, cool. Okay, guys, this is actually my thought process. I visualize exactly the group of muscle that I'm working and also have the goal of what I want to come out of the exercise. So yeah, this is the way my thought process goes. This usually takes about five minutes, eight minutes, depending on, it depends. Like if I want to do something new or yeah, it all depends.